I thought um, I really wanted to have a word about sort of unhooking and looking after pike in boats because when you're on the broads that's one of the things that you're nearly always doing fishing from a boat and actually it's quite good to go back to the early days when I first started pike fishing that's um, hundreds of years ago or back in the early 1970s um, and typically no one had boats in those days so you actually had to hire boats and hire boats were notoriously badly equipped so you'd go out in this boat with some rickety floorboards and if you caught a pike and they actually went down on those floorboards it quickly got damaged and a few of us didn't like that at all and so very quickly we started using bits and pieces on the bottom of the boats to try and improve the actual care of the pike and we started valve sacking um, quickly progressed in fact to um, underlay, carpet underlay which was fantastic and we'd always take a piece with us and as soon as we got in, in the boat, the higher boat, we'd lay that on the bottom and that would protect the pike. This is my boat. I um, recall when I made this boat pretty much from scratch. I bought it from Keith Cracknell uh, for 800 quid and uh, I don't quite know where he got it from and I didn't care to ask. But um, I stripped it right down to the gunnels, um, so it was really just the hull and, and, and the gunnels. Uh, so uh, I got a lot of comments about this boat, but one of the most important things is that it's efficient when it comes to catching and unhooking and returning pike. Um, massive unhooking mat, permanently screwed down, can't move. As soon as the pike's in the boat, it's on the unhooking mat. Oh, an essential piece of kit where, wherever you're fishing for pike. Um, yeah, just really a lightweight padded thing, about an inch and a half thick. Um, a lot of the mats you see people using are just far too heavy and they're a pain in the arse to carry around. I think that, that one is ideal. You can also zip it up and use it to carry bait and tackle as well. Also handy to sit on when, or even sleep on when, you tra when you're travelling light. If you just lay them, say, on the bottom of a boat, a wooden or a fibreglass boat, They'll knock themselves about, you know, quite roughly. Um, if you ain't got control of them, with an unhooking mat, you take out all that because uh, if they do start batting around, they've got the, the padded bit of the unhooking mat to bang themselves too. Even this, this this boat is carpeted; it's still not soft enough to protect the pike in the way we would like to protect them. There are many, many different details, but one of them is this: uh, how many of us have got a pike in the boat and you're searching around in your rucksack or wherever? for your unhooking equipment. That doesn't happen with me because it's all here. So I've got all these various little uh, racks, or not racks exactly, whatever you want to call them, um, these little containers where, which take all the tools. So you've got a knife, you've got the cutters, substantial cutters, there's the conventional forceps, long nose pliers, um, etc. They're always there, you can't go wrong. Also, the other tools to have is like a pair of forceps for obvious reasons to get the hooks out of the, the pike's mouth. You know what I mean? You have these always readily at hand if you're going to unhook them over the side of the boat or something like that. Usually just clip them on ourselves like that when we're catching a few. But um, unfortunately not today we ain't. But um, and they're always just to hand quite easily to unhook and go. Um, the other thing is, is a pair of cutters. Now if I'll show you, sometimes you might get the hook in an awkward place it's um, going to cause the pike a lot of damage by uh, trying to rip it out with the forceps, like so, and it's in an awkward place. So if you can get there, get in there, you can see just a pair of cutters, you can cut the hook straight off, like so. And then um, that comes out easy and you've done no damage to the pike then. Um, rather just cut the hook for the sake of uh, 40 pence than uh, rip the guts out of the pike. So yeah, important items to have if you go pike fishing. Unhook your mat pair of cutters and forceps.